Hey everyone, welcome to this tech resume roast. And with me, I have a man who knows all about resumes, Cody. Quickly uh, tell the people watching what your credentials are in the, in the world of resumes. Sure, well, I've, I've been doing this 15 years. Um, I've worked at Google, Groupon, Visa, Indeed, Cruise, and now, and now LinkedIn. And for the past three odd years, I've been at the executive level. Um, but yes, to say the least, I've sifted through a lot of resumes, mostly bad, but I don't hold it against them. It's, uh, it's an art form. And I think I've got some good tips for some folks. Right. Okay. Well, uh, let's get into it, shall we? Before we get started on, on the specific resumes, uh, do you have any kind of general uh, things that you see going wrong a lot in resumes or things that you think that people should keep more in mind than they do maybe? Absolutely. And that's a hard thing to do. A lot of people kind of follow the typical standard resume format. Let me say the format doesn't matter. Um, but we need to think in resumes in terms of real estate, the top being the most important, the Rodeo Drive, you know, the high rise condos in the bottom part, page two, page three, so on, you know, the inner city type places. It's, you know, you, we may get to it, we may not, but also we need to think in resumes in terms of the other person looking at them with limited time. Um, and then so there's a your, third tip. Put your top stuff at the top. Most important at the top, basically. Essentially. Okay. Um, and we need to answer the questions, recruiters and hiring managers quickly. And that's the toughest thing about a resume. A lot of people want to put a lot of fluff and stuff in there and they feel like they need to fill it up, but we just need to get questions answered quickly and move on with our day. And so I'm, I'm here to help with that. Yeah. Firstly, um, how about we jump into the first resume? Um, we get up on the screen now. We got uh, Johnny Johnson. Um, uh, not his real name, but, um, yeah, this is someone who applied for, he said he applied for over a hundred jobs with this resume and, and didn't get anywhere. So he's obviously doing something very wrong. Um, help us find out what it is. Yeah. Well, Johnny Johnson's not helping him. That's for sure. No, I'm kidding. Um, it, I like the format and again, it, it doesn't matter the format. Um, we want it to be easy to read though. Uh, first thing is though, in today's world with security, cybersecurity, the way it is, you don't need a full address on your resume anymore. Uh, just your name, contact information, uh, a link to your LinkedIn would be good. And then locations you're open to working at. If you're in Austin, hybrid, remote, whatever it is, we don't need your full address though. Um, when I, and I'm looking at really good real estate. This is the top thing I see. And I see a couple duplications of the name. I look at, I scroll down and again, I'm still in really good real estate. And the summary is what I call fluff. It's not telling me anything. He has a range of skills, well-versed in the latest technologies. What, what are those latest technologies? You're keen to learn and extremely adaptable. Well, if I hire Johnny Johnson, he better be keen to learn and very adaptable because today's world, you, you have to have those skills. Comfortable working in a range of programming languages, including Python and, and C Sharp. So, you know, I don't know much about Johnny right now. I don't know the technology, the latest technologies he's learned. He learns, let me rephrase that, technologies change daily. So how is he keeping up and how many years of experience does he have with Python and she's sharp specifically, because I may have a role where I need 10 years of Python and I'm, and I'm not sure. So I, what recruiters and hiring managers have to do is we begin looking through and looking at years of experience and kind of counting, okay, oh, he began an intern in 2021. So he was an intern for a little bit. Then he entered what we call the industry in March of 2022. So he's, you know, got a year and some change experience, um, which is fine. Uh, but I have to go through and, and look. And again, we want to have our resumes tailored for someone who doesn't have a lot of time, which that's most people today, thanks to social media, whatever you want to call it. We constantly distracted, um, but we need to be upfront and answer questions as quick as possible. And I'll show, I'll show everyone how we can, how we can do that. But, you know, when I look into, the experience 
again, I'm not really seeing a lot of quantitative data. So words are great. Words tell a great story. Numbers tell a better story. So they're responsible for designing and implementing software for certain devices. What was, how many designs and iterations, how many implementations did you go through? So we want impact result. I built X product, X amount of revenue, X amount of traffic. And for each company, we want it to be the most groundbreaking things they did. So if it's two bullet points, it's two bullet points. We'll save the rest for the interview, but it needs to be quantifiable and it needs to be earth shattering and make people go, wow, I have to call Johnny. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's good. What, what if in your two years you feel like you haven't done anything earth shattering? You know, then, and that's okay. When, when I started out in my career, we all started out in our careers. We're not doing anything really earth shattering. I think it's okay to talk about the things you did at university, uh, at your internships. Um, it may not be earth shattering, but if you worked, it looks like he was a API authorization, uh, manager bear and refresh tokens. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Select an integrated plugin sensors to enable physical interactions. It may, you know, it may be mundane in the early stages, but even if it is mundane, put quantitative data to it and show the impact that'll open our eyes up a little bit more into your world to, to say, wow, you know, he's new in his career, um, but he's doing enough things the right way. And I'm going to call him because he's converted again. He did X amount of iterations with the design implemented a tons of different types of software for X amount of devices. And even if it's not ground shaking, earth shattering, incredible, it's okay because I at least have an idea of the impact that we're making. And that's what we want to communicate our impact and why we're valuable. Cool. Well, Johnny, I uh, hope that's been useful for you and uh, yeah, good luck. Good luck. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure you're going to use that to, to really improve that resume. Um, yeah, let's have a look at the next one. Uh, Kevin, um, is, uh, he's got six, just over six years experience in engineering and he's using this resume to apply for some engineering manager roles. Yeah. So uh, not bad. Kevin doesn't have his address, uh, which is great. Uh, I would like to see the locations Kevin's at, if he's open to hybrid remote that type of stuff. But again, we have a, a similar type of summary that we see throughout uh, the, the world. Uh, I find purpose and fulfillment in empowering people around me to do their best, to be their best selves. Great, but that's, that's kind of fluff, right? Um, as a manager, I strive and look for opportunity to grow my team and their skill sets and process mindset. And I, I begin in my mind as I'm reading, all I can hear is blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. It, it, look, if you're a great manager, let's put how low your attrition rate is. What percentage was your attrition rate over five years? 10% is incredible, right? So instead of saying, as a manager, I strive to bring the best out of my team. Say as a manager over five years, I had a 10% attrition rate. That says the same thing, but even better and makes me go, wow, 10% attrition rate is low. Uh, that's incredible. Kevin, is an incredible manager. Um, so we can't just say our values and what we stand for and what we've done through words. We have to say it through numbers because data tells a better story, especially in engineering. But honestly, this advice is for many careers spanning many industries. We have to tell our story through data and numbers. And this top spot is the golden area to, to let a lot of things shine. And again, to answer a lot of questions hiring managers, recruiters have that they want answered in 30 seconds, right? Because we have to move on with our day. Um, not too upset about the skills. They got to go somewhere. I'd maybe move them down because we're still kind of in the high rise, good location up here. Um, work experience. Here's where I see a location. You don't, I don't want to have to dig for it. I don't want to have to dig for much. 
I don't want to have to dig for how many years of experience you have in the industry, how many years you experience you have in management, basic stuff like that. We want to highlight and I'll, and I'll show you how we can do that a little bit better, but um, I'm seeing a little bit more quantitative data, you know, let a team of 10 engineers um, reviewed project goals, you know, stuff like this is expected, you know, as a manager, we know these things happen. Um, I was speaking with a uh, engineering manager the other day and he had on his resume, um, you know, hired, interviewed 250 people uh, and, and hired a certain amount of people, promoted X amount of people. And I'm like, look, we know that's part of the territory. It's kind of assumed. Let's stick to what you did as a manager that was impactful. What things did your team deliver? What was the impact? What was the result? And tell me through numbers. <laughs> I'll keep saying that. It'll, it'll get old. Um, but yeah, it, there's just not enough data in here to tell me tell me the impact. You know, pr provided strategic leadership for companies to effectively steer strategic plans and projects. What were those plans? What were those projects? How did you effectively steer the company? Did you save them X amount in revenue? What 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 is it? Um, let's get into the details, but let's not get into the weeds because again, as a manager, as a lead, you've got some years of experience. I want to see those two or three bullet points that make my jaw drop and say, wow, Kevin, I got to call Kevin right now because he's done some incredible stuff uh, as an engineering manager. So again, I see a bunch of fluff and just, yeah, sorry, Kevin. Kevin, sorry, but you got to put more, you got to put more details. We want to see, we want to see numbers. We want to see real impact. And yeah, I definitely agree that like that summary, those first six lines, I would just can select that and delete it. Right. And just get, get into the, get into the work history a lot more, a lot earlier. Um, yeah. Yeah. Cody, cool. Thanks, man. Yeah.